If the tree you are falling is not leaning with the lay of the timber, you may have to wedge it over. A wedge is a lever that lifts and forces a tree towards an undercut. You should always carry a minimum of three wedges in your tool belt. Place a wedge, but don't set it too deep. Wedges keep the back cut open and prevent the tree from sitting back on the saw. Periodically check your back cut to make sure you leave enough holding wood. Finish the back cut. Lift up your face screen between strikes to better see any movement in the tree. It's important to wait and watch for the impact of each hit. The force of striking a wedge causes vibrations that can take up to three seconds to reach the top of the tree. When the tree starts to fall, move away along your escape route. Wedging large trees can be difficult. It's extremely important to keep three or more wedges on you at all times. With larger timber, you will often need to use multiple wedges to lift a tree. In this situation, the faller has to wedge the tree against its natural lean to place it in the lay of the timber. The faller ensures the undercut is properly cleaned out. Palm your first wedge. Palm your second wedge and set it.
continue your back cut, always checking to ensure you leave enough holding wood. The process is now one of alternately striking the wedges and finishing the back cut, always being careful not to cut through the holding wood. Lift up your face screen between strikes to better see any movement in the tree. It's important to wait and watch for the impact of each hit. The force of striking a wedge causes vibrations that can take up to three seconds to reach the top of the tree. When the tree starts to fall, move away along your escape route. The purpose of holding wood is to control the direction the tree falls. Directional control is a technique where increasing the angle of the holding wood is used to change the direction the tree would naturally fall. In this example, the tree is naturally leaning to the left, but the intended direction of fall is straight ahead. To make the tree fall in the intended direction, the faller needs to leave a greater amount of holding wood on the opposite side to the lean. After the shape of the holding wood has been established, you can begin the cutting sequence. Always set a wedge as soon as possible. Set the second wedge approximately six inches away from the first. This leaves room in case it's necessary to double up on wedges. Alternately strike the wedges until the tree falls. Continually check to ensure there is enough holding wood. Always check from the back side of the tree. Never position yourself in front of the undercut. 
finish the back cut, making sure the cut is the right depth and the correct angle to change the direction the tree falls. When the tree starts to fall, move away along your escape route. 